beautiful Amish built cabin. This one's got the screened in porch. It's a 14 by 40. One bed, one bath. Beautiful. Built with southern yellow pine, but we offer it in uh, eastern white pine and redwood cedar. As you can see, this ain't no two by fours now. We got them four by six timber stacked all the way up with that chinking in between. Keep it nice and tight and efficient. Very well built. Built by the local Amish here in southern Indiana, but we ship them nationwide, guys. We go to the lower 48. We got that hinge system up there in the in the roof on the top of the porch there. That's how we ship these things. The top of this uh, porch will fold down. And the bottom of the porch here got a hinge system too, so that'll fold up. So when it shows up, it's like a big rectangle. And uh, the guys will come with the delivery guy to get it all put back together for you. So when we quote you on delivery, it's not just the delivery that's in, in that price, it's also the installation because the guys will spend about eight hours on your land kind of putting all this stuff back together. All the pieces and parts of this porch will be inside the cabin and they'll pull them out of the windows and sliding doors here so we can put your cabin back together. So uh, when we leave your land, it looks just like it does here on the lot. Ready to go, baby, plug and play. All right, now this cabin here is offered as a um, two bedroom as well. That's a 14 by 48. Uh, we can do it as a two bedroom. This is a 14 by 40. So keep that in mind as well. You got some options if you need more bedrooms. Now, if you need more than two bedrooms, we also got the cabin kits and the cottage kits. Sorry, y'all, it gets kind of loud out here. I'm right by the road. But we got them cabin kits and cottage kits on the website at AmishBuiltCabins.com. So you are not limited to just getting, uh, you know, the prefab. You actually have a lot more choices with the cabin kit, but those got to be installed and finished as well. So that's more of a three-part process. You buy your kit, you work with us to get it installed, and then you work with a contractor to get it finished on the interior with your finishes, sheetrock, etc. Uh, we also got A-frame kits now as well. Those have been real popular. We offer them on the website. Um, we got those in two different sizes. One approximately 750 square feet, one a little bit bigger than 950 square feet. Those are extremely popular for folks just looking to quickly monetize their land, put a beautiful A-frame on it. You know, two to three guys can put that A-frame together in a week. So they are beautiful and very easy to put together. And we've done them in a way where we'll ship the whole kit right to your land and uh, you're off and running, okay? So let's go inside this pretty little thing here we call El Chapo Muchacho. Go. So now we went through the front door and as you can see here, got a beautiful living room area and sliding glass door that goes out to your screened in porch. Keep them bugs off your back now. This cabin's been real popular down south where they right by the Florida, Mississippi, Alabama. Y'all got a lot of bugs down there, I guess, and Tennessee too. We sell a lot of these in Tennessee. But we kind of starting to sell them all over, really. Sold these as far as California. So as you can see here, you got five good size windows, double pane with the argon glass, easy clean, right? And, um, and look at them beans up there, how pretty they are. Look at that. Handcrafted by the Amish, nothing like Amish built quality. Handcrafted by the Amish, but we ship them nationwide. Look at them floors, varnished, clean, ready to go, clean and crispy. <whistles> clean, baby, clean. Now, all our prefab Amish built cabins come with these built in, beautiful Amish built cabinets. Okay, that is included in the price. And we'll set them up where you want us to. So you see this one's got the window there right where the sink's going to go. You just let us know what size sink you want. And whether you want a farm sink or whatever, we'll cut that out, put a sink in there for you.
some folks will extend this part out, pay extra to do that, that way they can get them a dishwasher in there. And you've got your range, the microwave will go above that. Over here, standard size range, and you put your standard size refrigerator right over here. So, beautiful, beautiful, very well laid out. A lot of people right here in this little spot, they'll put one of them little breakfast nooks, little island right here. That way y'all can have a little breakfast nook there. I really like that concept. I think those turn out real nice. And like I said, you got your glass sliding door. Now up there, that is not a livable loft, guys. I gotta tell people that all the time when I'm doing my TikTok lives and all that. You take this ladder, I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'6". Six, six. That's the only reason I can do this. But you look up there and you see that's for storage, guys. That goes over where the bathroom's gonna be over here. So I'll, we'll go there in a second. But that's just for storage, extra storage up there. Okay, there's your front door. And this is the hallway. Now before we go left in the bathroom over here, let me show you this little cool nook. Some people love it, some people hate it. A lot of people ask us to take it out, uh, but some people love it and want us to keep it. So this is just like extra storage and this is for a front loading washer and dryer, okay? That's what usually folks will do is put a front loading washer and dryer, but some people, they'd rather do this. So let me tell you what they'd rather do, okay? See how the bathroom is kind of narrow right here and then it gets wide when you walk into the back and that's that little nook right there. What a lot of people will do is they'll go ahead and they'll say, I want the bathroom all the same width. So they'll get rid of this part right here and then put a stackable washer and dryer over here. And this part right here gets included into the bathroom square footage. Does that make sense? So that'll all make this wall go away and make this all one big bathroom. Okay, so a lot of people like that design instead. That way it's not narrow here in the front when you walk in the bathroom and get wide in the back. Okay, so to me, I kind of like that better. Uh, Cause a lot of people don't even have front loading washer and dryers, but you know, and then this, you know, when you're in a small home, you want to, you know, make sure your space is as efficient as possible. So you want as much square footage. So I like the idea, this right corner puts you a stackable, this left corner include that square footage into the bathroom. Okay, now let me do the grand entrance here into the bedroom. So let's say the door's locked, right? That's going into the bedroom. Open it up, and voila, clean baby, clean. You've got you a beautiful bedroom here. That's a queen size bed for reference. And as you can see, you take that little dresser thing out of the way there, that not nightstand, and you get you a king size bed in here. And then over here, what a lot of people will do, we got that little kind of mechanical room for like a water heater. And then we got that little closet. Um, a lot of people, because they're going to tankless water heaters, they don't need a mechanical room like that. So they'll just go ahead and take these two and put it and make it one big closet with a sliding bar door on it. So that's one of the most popular modifications to people's floor plans they do on the El Chapo cabinet. They'll take them two and make it one unit for a closet and put a cool barn sliding door on it. Okay, so that's what most folks do. They don't leave it like this. And then that way you got you, uh, they'll put that tankless water heater over there by where the washer and dryer goes because that's where all the plumbing connections are at. And that's how they do that. Okay, so let me close this door real quick so you kind of get the full effect of the bedroom. Okay, so you see you got two large windows in the bedroom, lots of natural light. Um, the furniture obviously is not included, but we do sell a lot of it because the Amish leave them in these cabins for people that they, they decide they want to add some of this furniture to their order. When we bring out your cabin, we'll just ship the furniture inside the cabin out to you with your land, to, out to your land. So, um, sorry guys, I don't edit my videos, so I just keep it rolling here. I'm not, I'm, I'm born in 1979. I'm an OG, old school, baby. I don't do believe in editing. <laughs> I don't believe in editing, baby. I'm just trying to show y'all what we got, raw and un un unfiltered. So look at that, <whistles> clean, baby. Man, these things are pretty, man. I remember when the Amish came to me originally to say, hey, we y'all sell our cabinets and stuff like that? I was like, I don't know about that. I said, let me look at them first. And they, they showed them to me and that was it. I was in love. I got that cabin fever, baby. They even nicknamed me the Cabin Cowboy, baby. Brrrah. 
cabin cowboy. They named me the cabin cowboy. I got that cabin fever after walking through one of these. I was in love. It immediately shot me back to when I was a kid going on vacation with the family out to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge. Nothing like the smell of Southern Yellow Pond. Man, I wish I had smell of vision y'all. It smells great in here. So guys, um, you're looking for a wonderful cabin. You know, a lot of folks have a lot of land and they've been sitting on it for years, not knowing what to do with it. Consider an Amish built cabin. These things, unlike a lot of like mobile homes and things of that nature, these things actually appreciate in value. They hold their value. People love log homes. They make great rentals. I'd probably say 25% of my customers are investors doing that Airbnb, VRBO, cabin rentals. A lot, a lot of customers coming out of, like I said, the South Tennessee, uh, heavy, heavy cabin type places, uh, Cumberland, Lake Nolan, all around people that do cabins. Uh, they're coming to us and quickly working with us to monetize their land or have a little getaway hunters retreat cabin they're just beautiful you know what i mean and they're well built and you take care of them like anything else and it'll take care of you and last a long time you know it's like anything else any other stick built home you take care of your home it's going to look nice and last for years to come and that's how these cabins are too all the wood is treated and these are four season cabins so they do come insulated but some folks that are up north, Michigan, by the lakes, and Montana, Vermont, we always suggest y'all beef up and get that insulation upgrade because trust and believe. Some places you gotta have that upgrade on that insulation in the, in the ceiling and in the subfloor, okay? All you need is a concrete pad, guys. Six inch with that concrete, that concrete pad with the six inch with the, with the mesh, and just like that, We'll come set it on top of the concrete, on top of block. There's two runners underneath the cabin, so runners will sit on block on top of your concrete. That way you've got a crawl space created underneath your cabin so your plumber can come do the septic connection and connect you to your utilities, okay? We keep it real simple. Once again, guys, my name is Osi. They call me the Cabin Cowboy. The link is in the bio. This model's called the El Chapo Muchacho. And if you like what you see, don't hesitate to tell your friends about us, family members. Uh, we do got TikTok and YouTube, so holler at us. Follow us on there. And uh, yeah, y'all be blessed. Have a good day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, I love y'all. I love God. And may God be good to you and your family. Y'all be blessed and come back and see me now.